everybody. This is part eight of the Harry Potter book analysis series. So let's just turn to the table behind me and get right to it because the next book we're going to cover is one that we really have to talk about. Table hasn't changed. Uh, the shelf, all the books on it. Except for this top one and people who know Harry Potter analysis books. Again, there's the, the black uh, mystery book. We'll get to that. Have you figured it out yet? No? Uh, well, we're going to do the top one now, and people who, um, who know the Harry Potter analysis books were probably looking at these videos and like, how could she miss that one in spring of 2009? This book has been out for months and months and months. I know, I try not to miss any, and I actually just realized that I did miss one, because I saw that there was going to be a forum off-site at it for Azkatraz, and I was like, oh my gosh, that book exists, and that's a book about uh, Harry Potter and the Global Marketplace. I'm ordering it today, uh, so I can read it, because... I get them as they come out. Stay on top of the curve. Stay on top of all the books that come out. Awesome. So the one on top here is, and the reason it was on the shelf before, I wasn't trying to lie to you, I just forgot. It was in my bag. I was reading it this lunch time at lunch while I was ordering food. I was reading this book. I always take it to like a coffee shop. Whatever book I'm reading, it's always in my bag with me. Books should always be in bags, like they should always be in, top, in piles. And uh, I don't understand if uh, women who carry really big bags with them, they don't have books in them. There's just no excuses there, you have the bag. I don't understand, uh, to, I mean I can understand guys if they don't have big purses with them, that they can't carry a book, but ladies, we always got to have the books with us. And they should preferably be Harry Potter books, and if they're not these, then they should be these. Or some other Harry Potter thing. Alright. Maybe an owl. I wonder if you could stick an owl in a bag. Ron could probably fit Pigwidgeon in a bag. Oh well. So the top one here is the one by Travis Prinzi. He is uh, talking at Azcatraz. I don't know about Leaky Con. He may be. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I think he lives uh, on the East Coast. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him in Boston for Leaky Con. But I know that he's on for uh, Azcatraz. And he runs the website... Uh, the Hog's Head, uh, so you can Google that and find it, and Hogwarts Professor John Granger has a link to his site. The two are friends, and I think, um, I actually heard him speak. This book wasn't out at the time I heard him speak, so I couldn't get him to sign it, but I heard him speak at my school. The same school that invited John Granger. So, so cool. And he was talking about, a uh, Harry Potter and, I think, uh, terrorism, which was an interesting. He likes to, uh, cover a whole bunch of things, like political conflicts and such. But anyway, this book is called Platform Nine and Three Quarters, Harry Potter and Imagination, The Way Between Two Worlds. You can find this at Zosima Press. Um, now we're seeing more and more to the Zosima logo, uh, Granger's Press. www.zosima.com. You can find this on Amazon, and I think you can also find this on Barnes & Noble. So, yeah. I got five of these books, uh, for Christmas. I just, uh, my parents were like, what do you want? I was like, let me go on Amazon and make a, a cart, and, uh, there were a lot of books in the cart. Alright, well, let's open it up and see what we're looking at. This book's really well written. I think it could be, could have been edited a little more, but it's really, and that's just grammatically. It's, it's just really well written. Um, it took a few chapters to get into it. But, chapter three really, really hooked me uh, to this book. And that chapter is called, dun dun dun, let's come up to it, Hogwarts, A Haunted History, Fear and Supernatural Horror in Harry Potter. He starts talking about the, the horror genre in Harry Potter, which is a subject that I hadn't encountered with the other authors before. And um, it was really good. I mean, the other two, su the two uh, previous chapters to this were like, yeah, I've read that in some of the other books before. There were a couple new things, like there's always a couple new things, but the theme wasn't new. That was new. That was gorgeous. And I was completely hooked by the third chapter. So some of these books, you need to give them a couple chapters to really get into them. But you're reading about Harry Potter, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So, Princey's book is broken into three parts. The first part is about fairy. The second part is the creative hero, and the third part is a political fairy tale where you're going to be dealing with subjects about postmodernism. Uh, here's one. I think this is the one he would have been presenting on, but this book hadn't been out at the time when I saw him. Wizards at War, Harry Potter's Commentary on the War on Terror. 
So yeah, if you want to look at the political issues in Harry Potter, the book's good for that. And um, I really like the middle part, though, on uh, the archetypes in Harry Potter. So the hero, Harry. Harry, Shadow, Voldemort is sociopath and sinner. So that's a, a character study of Voldemort. The, the uh, third chapter of the second part, and technically chapter nine, is um, the life and love of Albus Dumbledore as the mentor archetype. And then you have the, uh, the shapeshifter archetype, which is Snape. So a chapter each in the second part for Harry, Voldemort, Dumbledore, and Snape. And that is really cool. Uh, so there's been a lot of praise about this book that you can find on his, uh, on his website. But he takes his title from J.K. Rowling's Harvard uh, uh, commencement address, in which she says, We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. Hence the title, Harry Potter and Imagination. So enjoy. I hope you read this book. Really good. Runs a little under $20. Enjoy.